In the last episode, we were betrayed by the American people's commonwealth, the socialists in America, not even led by Bernie Sanders. What is this? But what did they do, you may ask? We fought in the same war. But then they did this. They split Canada in two, and nobody splits Canada in two without my permission. The border goer is just so incredibly bad that there is nothing that we can do save destroy the American people's commonwealth from off the face of the globe. This is for sure a nuisance. They're much stronger than than we are and it's not gonna be an easy task to take them out. Luckily, they are justifying against the Great Lakes Republic, and that'll make it a lot easier for us so long as we can declare war soon before they capitulate. And they might not declare war at all, which would be quite the nightmare. We do have three nukes too, so just in case we have some nukes. I don't know if we'll be using them, but uh, they're there if we need them. Okay, it's time. They have annexed their puppets in America, cleaned up some border gore, but it's still unforgivable what they've done. They must pay for their actions. And we can't hold our entire border, so this might be bad right here, but we will have a slight advantage, maybe? I don't know, it's gonna be a close call. We should definitely win the air war, though, which will at least be something. They are quite the strong menace right now. I need to call Canada in, and hopefully they aren't destroyed completely. Where's the Royal Navy? Let's... Oh, wait, I, for I keep forgetting that we've had to make our navy from scratch, but I've made quite a decent navy. We have two cruisers, 11 light cruisers, 9 destroyers, and 15 subs. Not the best navy in the world, but it's at least something. We'll bring it over to New Brunswick. Let's start the offensive into America. Our goal right now is to take New England before they can capitulate our allies over here and take the West. Ooh, and we're sinking the American Navy, I see. <laughs> I think the Americans started with the Navy, so we're making a good progress. Their division count has already severely declined because we encircled about 20 or 30 divisions there. Soon we might have more divisions than them, even without the rest of our faction. Yeah, they still have more fielded manpower than us, but I think that will change shortly. The capital of Philadelphia has been captured. <laughs> they still have a lot of core states to go, but yeah, we've made decent progress and New England was their stronghold and so many divisions have been circled. We've pretty much encircled their entire front line in New England. They're lucky they are clearing up this other front so they'll finally be able to move divisions over. No, they invaded behind us over here. Oh no, they were more crafty than I thought. No, and they invaded there too. Oh, I didn't even expect this. I guess I can convoy raid. I can try to do something. Perfect, and 
We can now finally destroy this border gore. Well, everything here is technically now in our faction besides the Great Lakes Republic. It's just a lot of border gore, like we were forced to satellite these people. Well, Spain satellited them, but we would only have the option to satellite them anyways. So I guess we'll just use the transfer state mod to add things back to good faction members because we've rightfully taken it. So I think we can do that now. Okay, and now I'm sending convoys to all my puppets and they unknowingly will accept these convoys and these convoys will make them more loyal to us because that's how Hearts of Iron 4 works. <laughs> you thought this was a game about war. No, it's a game about diplomacy through sending humble trade ships to your puppets. <laughs> I'm going with the three Americas policy. There's going to be our occupied zone where we get a lot of factories from. Once we get more compliance, of course, right now we don't have too much, but that'll increase over time. Then we have the middle America, which is called Northeastern Empire, which is kind of cursed, but at least the borders will look good once the Great Lakes Republic is gone. And then the Western Empire. They were once puppets, now they all become integrated puppets, integrated into our empire. So now we get way more factories, or maybe just one more. Yeah, there it is, there we go, like 60 more factories from doing that. Very worthwhile. Now we can make a ton of tanks. We'll need a lot of tanks to take out the Warsaw Pact. But these 2019 main battle tanks will do a fine job at weakening them. Their divisions won't stand a chance against us. And okay, time to restore borders to North America, make this place look a little better. Mexico will probably be our last target, just because I think the borders in South America are okay. It's not like there's anything like this there, so. Somehow Mexico has over 10, usually even 20 in some cases, divisions per tile. I don't know how they have this many divisions, but it still should be fine. The Mexicans are taking the Soviet approach today. Our entire faction has lost 15k, they've lost 621,000. Yeah, wait, why is Turkey? Why is Turkey in their alliance? I guess we own Cyprus. We could probably send some of our puppets bad divisions to go invade from there. I'm sorry, Tile, right here, but um, it's time for the first test of one of these in warfare. Two million losses to 22,000. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and I haven't even finished off this encirclement yet. Oh no, Queen Elizabeth! No, I guess now Charles III is king. Very non-historical here, but guess that's what happens when we try to restore the British Empire, huh? And perfect. It took a few nukes, and we just had to walk into Mexico City, and that was about it. I guess, do we have to capitulate Turkey? Oh, they are a major. Well, I guess let's do this. I think our navy's here, yeah. Please, hopefully Turkey doesn't have as many divisions as Mexico did. Oh no. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> and I just failed my second attempt to invade Turkey, so they're strong. They get my respect for holding on this long, but they've only fought my puppet's divisions. They haven't yet fought true British divisions, and our tanks are being produced ever so slowly. Slowly, maybe some were produced and accidentally got put in here. Oh yes, they were. The 2019 tank regiments are ready. <laughs> we'll test them out on Turkey. And my top secret intelligence can also now confirm that Turkey pretty much has a million divisions too. This is terrible and it's not terrible that they have that many divisions. They still shouldn't be too much of an issue with our new tanks, but the thing is, if every country in the Warsaw Pact has 100 to 300 divisions, the Soviet Union probably 500 to 1,000, this is going to be kind of miserable, but still possible. It'll just be an even greater accomplishment to defeat them. Also, Greece is trying to hold off against the entire Warsaw Pact. Well, I think actually it's just Bulgaria and Albania. And I guess since I don't have anything better to do with most of my armies, I'm just going to declare war on some countries in Central America and just give them to Mexico once I puppet Mexico. This pretty much just also guarantees that they'll join this faction instead of the Warsaw Pact, which is 
good, because if they join the Warsaw Pact, if I declare on someone and they join the Warsaw Pact, that's gonna be bad, but as long as this faction exists, everybody will just join it instead. Okay, so it's my first attempt to invade them with real divisions, real 40 widths, and my plan is to have my navy on naval invasion support, and I built up the airports here, so now I have air supremacy and CAS over Asia Minor. Let's see if we can finally land, or if we'll have to make real marine divisions. You know something's wrong when tanks can push a group of 25 guys out of a mountain tile. Doesn't even take tanks though, their, their army is kind of just done for. Okay, and once we take this port, everything over here will be encircled. Of course, most of their divisions are on this side, but it's, it's still a decent amount of stuff. Well, we almost got encircled there, which isn't good, but unfortunately that's all the time I have. I think we've pretty much won the war already. Yeah, they've taken quite a few casualties. Yeah, Mexico with almost six million turkeys, almost two and a half million already. Ah, but I think before we end this, we have to do one thing. These 2019 tanks, really bad name. I think we better call these tanks their true name. The true name that I give all tanks of the highest quality, and these tanks are doing quite the fine job of defeating everybody they come in contact with. So there they go. Chad tanks, yes. Reborn, once again. But I guess we won't be able to use them in massive armies this time, but next time, uh, we'll have quite a few of these guys pumped out, so it'll be pretty cool. But anyway, I guess I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>